Okay, so hello, and this is Grand Guilds, a tactical RPG by Drex Studios, which is now being kickstarted right now. And it looks really interesting to me, to be honest. Um, it, it seems like a really fun game. It's got kind of tactical movement. It looks very much like XCOM, but I was nice fantasy setting, which makes me think of one of my favorite games ever, which is Onimusha Tactics from the Game Boy Advance. And it importantly had a downloadable demo, which is what I'm going to play today, because I was very interested in this. This um, grand tactical RPG, which I just wanted to have a game like this again. Our nice fantasy setting, RPG, slowly moving around. I've been playing D&D recently, so I'm really interested in turn-based combat again. Understood. And it just looked really interesting for what I saw. And I thought, right, cool. I'll have a little quick play of this. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to play the demo that they downloaded. I downloaded of it. Because I played a little bit of it, and I was like, ooh, this is really good. I'm actually going to kickstart for this, and I want to actually see what else there is. And I want to kind of show other people this, because I really want this game to be kickstarted properly. The people have said that it will, um... That it will be used... No, it will be used. It will, um, use the kickstarter money to help kind of refine it and make it easier. And, you know, make the art a lot better, improve it, but that they can still finish the game, regardless. But, I mean, it already, it's already quite a fun, nice little system as it is. I'd quite like to see it honed even better. Yeah. Oh yeah, as on the kind of intro screen there, the, the little cutscene there you saw before, the last time I played it, my mouse did not look like this. It looked like the standard normal mouse, and I was going to complain about that, but it seems to have fixed itself. Don't know if I hit a bug the first time I did this. Yeah, you don't have a hairstyle, so you're going to die immediately. Yeah, told you that we're going to die. No. no, I like the character models. I like the tutorial. We've got a card system for fighting, which I'm not sure how much I like, but it's only, it really only seems to kind of replace the normal... Um, you know, your normal menu for turn-based combat you get in SRPGs. So, it's it's fine. I can dig it. Step aside. So that's an area effect one, and then you end the turn. You got kind of mana pull for the cards you use, so it's kind of a weird cross between SRPG and Hearthstone, I think, because I think the mana goes up every turn. Yeah, you've got a standard ability that you can just use, or bigger, heavier cards, like that one, which is fun to use. <laughs> Yeah, it's a nice way of doing a little tutorial, having you fight by yourself against two people. You can move the camera and just... No, well, not completely fuck her off, but I really like it. Change the angle, even if this is a bit buggy and you can just sort of be like, Oh, what's happening out here? Oh, a massive fight. No, I like it. I mean, you can't... It's only got four different angles you can view it from, which is a bit of a bit of a shame, but other than that, it's quite good. Did not see that before. Wonder if that has any importance. Uh, back to the normal camera. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go around and slash this bastard. I'll use willpower. Come on. Took a little bit to can't do that. But yeah, no, it's just nice turn based strategy fair. I really like it. I just really like this game at this stage. Uh, Rush. I want to see what Rush does. <laughs> I like that. And we'll just do a normal hit. For the guild. I don't think you're in the guild yet. But yeah, I also want to see how much of a demo they've um, they've released for us. 
It does seem like it can get out of hand quickly. Oh yes, and the stemo doesn't have controller support, which I'm a bit upset about. Um, the Kickstarter is for a um, yeah, the Kickstarter is for PC, so that's Steam, good old games, and I think they also had Itch.io and its own website. We're going to host it as well, so you can have it without DRM or through Steam as you want. It's got a Steam page currently, which is kind of cool. Uh, a little bit of intrigue. I felt like they were trying to set me up for a murder here. It's not working, it's not work. And you have no throat. It's fine. Damn you. Damn you. <laughs> like just the silence and then followed by the damn you. I mean, for cutscenes like this, you could probably do with hiding the mouse for a bit. It's, I don't know, it looks quite good. I like the logo, even if it's a bit Final Fantasy. And why does this bit remind me of Banished? This is the kind of, it's not the most detailed graphics, but it has a charm to it. I think that's why it reminds me of Banished. Hmm? And this is the bit I haven't got to yet. You're almost out of tea. That's very British. Oh, wonderful. So we have... A g immediately going to run into a gang. <laughs> That's such a weird little sign scene. Are you alright, Loma? One. Does not look like a kid. It looks like a hobbit. Yes, that's good. Why don't you go play somewhere else safe now? Go on, Hobbit. Leave. This guy's just gonna watch it. Enjoy the scene. Do you both have a scar? <laughs> Alright. Ah, uh, and that's creepy. Ah, uh, that's very, very creepy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, I like the setup, which was just really stupid. And why is he cheering? <laughs> Color of the cards signify their use. Physical damage, magical damage, utility skills. Alright, let's have a better look at the man of the horse. You are an utter bastard. Why are you cheering this on? You're rightfully worried. You haven't moved a bit for the entire duration of this. Um, why is everybody watching? You... I don't feel like I'm in a very good city. And rush. Alright, I don't have enough action points. Yeah, he's gonna move forward. He's going to move. Alright, he's angling me. I don't know what I want to do. You're going to get stabbed. Why are people cheering this? They're just watching a knife fight. Even worse, they're watching one person fighting two people. I don't know if that was a smart move. I don't think it was. I can heal by four. Might as well. Do I get new cards? Ow. You stabbed me. Oh, yeah, I do. Uh, I can do eight damage for that, or I can do eight damage this way. I kind of want to have them fight me in a bottleneck. I'm going to piss off. You stand ready as you run away. I'm sorry, I am breaking it for you a little bit. Heal. Just heal. Okay, sometimes the cards don't seem to react to me, but aside from that, I quite like this game. 
No, it's fine. I'm gonna hide here. Ow! Ow! Alright, this wasn't as tactical as I thought it might have been. Uh, uh, kill you. <laughs> the death scream. You are unfazed, miss. You are completely unfazed by what just happened right next to you. I just... You're still cheering. You're not... These people are just clapping and cheering stuff that's far away from me as we just hide behind a wagon. It's fine. Understood. Running away. For justice? For justice? Yeah. That's a good way to end that. I mean, the other guy's body still <laughs> Interesting. Yes, it is. No, I like this one. I like this game. I, I want this to release in full state and I want to play it so badly. Wait. El Eliza? I'm going to go with Eliza. Eliza! The Eliza, the strongest member of the Lox Deus Guild. Ah, of course, it'd be Latin. Yeah. <laughs> the one eighty turn. No. If those idiots weren't so rude and violent, I wouldn't have helped you. Next time, pay your dues on time. Yeah, because I'm sure it was a totally legal debt that had two people with scars, swords, mohawks, and generally aggressive gang behavior. That's totally illegal. Totally illegal debt. Definitely wasn't, you know, protection racket going on there. Now about your debt, I want you to donate whatever you owed them to charity. For fuck's sake. You didn't think you'd be getting away with free money, did you? Alright, so... Oh, she's an extortionist as well. Okay. I'll give the money to the orphanage once I have it. How about that? Good. She's a threatening person, isn't she? <laughs> right. You do have slightly higher resolution textures on them, couldn't you? The faces are a bit blurry. Right, the tea shop should be around here somewhere. <laughs> There's a lot of personality in our actions there. <laughs> that scream was so bad! And there's a skeleton. And No, two skeletons, sorry. <laughs> a skeleton that breathes fire. You don't have lungs! How are you breathing fire? <laughs> Doesn't look good at all. Get ready to engage. Ice wall. I guess a person who has fire? Why? It doesn't help us. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna like this. It's gonna be a mixture of CCGs and isometric strategy RPGs. Which I'm fine with. You are a bit of a bastard. How do you cause fire? Right. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, gonna go for here. Hundred blades. Ooh. I like the sound of that one. Rush. It's not gonna be something I can do yet. Healing rain. Okay, so he's gonna be kind of a healer ca character. Use this on him. Uh, can we not rotate the way it looks? No, we cannot. Right click? No. Okay. Heal self rally by six. Just a scratch. No, I like this. I like this game. It's It's got nice, solid kind of gameplay. I've been stabbed. For zero. You're not very good at stabbing people. Okay, well, he's a bit better. He's doing a lot of damage, actually. Challenge you. <laughs> the scream, the, the shout wasn't as um, threatening as I think you thought it was. That's quite a nice skill. And... Stab. Oh, wait. Oh, he was stunned. My healer is stunned. 
Fucking hell. <laughs> that's a, okay, that's a kind of cool skill. This is a restricted area. He's wearing a Plague Doctor mask. I, and ninja pajamas. I don't think he cares. Put the big down, no harm shall come to you. Masked. <laughs> Man, why are you jealous that I can read? <laughs> yeah, I want this game. Come now, I shall teach you the alphabet first. The alphabet hasn't got any skeletons in it. Right. Really? Yeah, obviously. But then again, you did try and make a man who was being, you know, ganged up on and extort extorted donate the money he was going to be extorted to an orphanage. So, meh. Ethics. Let's show him what we do with uninvited guests. Don't be rude, woman. He was asking me. Anyway, anyway I wouldn't tell you either way. No use talking to corpses, right? <laughs> Such a stupid game. What kind of pose is he? Yeah, he is a plague doctor dressed up as a ninja. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Challenge! You'll have to hit <laughs> yeah, it just always gets me. Just such a goofy sound for it. Come on, I want to look at the card. Stun enemy for one turn, deals six damage. Okay, so I go here. And I fucked up. I can't move again. Eh, that was a dumb move of him, wasn't it? Ow! Hell's Claw. Are you gonna hit me? You are about to get a really sad day. Whoop. Bang! That sounded like it might have hurt. Understand. Walter shot on him. <clears throat> Why do I feel like he's going to start summoning people? Ow! Don't stab my friend. I just said, don't stab my friend, for God's sake. <clears throat> Alright. Oh no, this skeleton is just determined to stab him. No, I like this. I do like this game a lot, actually. I need to stop saying that. I need to actually say some other commentary. It just, just feels really kind of solid the way it kind of all moves together. Even if the um, Even if some of it feels a little bit clunky. It's just kind of refreshing to be able to play another one of these games again. It's kind of nice not to have the kind of... Um, Accuracy problem you have in games like XCOM, but instead of have another thing that's kind of more, um, you know what you're doing, the damage. It's even got even less RNG than something like Onimusha Tactics. I quite like it if there was a. Um, you were fluffed up here, mate. It'd be kind of good if they had um, a little bit of variation, uncertainty over your attacks, but I'm sure that comes in later on. You get risk reward cards, I'm sure. Do you say that to everyone you beat, you have now been defeated? I like how sarcastic he is. What? Who is this lady you speak of? Stop stalling and tell me. Yeah. <laughs> no, I like this. I really like the writing as well. I feel like this is just going to be one of the games I'm going to pour hundreds of hours into. I just really like this. I hope it has a kind of good end game at the end of it where you can start just having kind of challenges. Like, um, yeah, Onimusha Tactics had this kind of extra dungeon that you could just keep farming near the end. No use talking to people who let en the enemy escape, right? He's going to disappear. Don't you even dare. Cadmus? <laughs> Alright, fair Fair use of the actual animations they still got in the game for cutscenes is quite good. Why didn't you see that coming? Because you're thick. Alright, new character. Well. He was the one who summoned the monsters. We believe he was after the Guild's Grimoire. 
We defeated him, but he managed to escape through a portal because we decided to talk to him as opposed to taking him prisoner or just executing him. And yet they attacked the furthest and least populated locations. I suspect he was luring everyone out so we could quietly steal the grimoire. Alright, so she's bright enough to figure this out, but not bright enough to realize that the guy who magicked his way in could magic his way out. He wasn't very. There's a lot of sass in this. Is this his blood? Huh? Yeah. Fresh blood emits the same magic signature that the body does. Okay, so there's science magic as well in this world. Okay, so the next level's in a forest. I like this. I like the way that this is going. Hey you, I don't know if you're the one we're looking for. But you have a mask and you're injured and you look shady, so you're probably him. Who the hell are you and how do you find me? Oh, this is such a stupid game, I love it. I am so putting money into this. Give up now or I'll break every bone in your body. Really? That's the best thing you've got. Oh, I just, oh, I I need this game now. I need the full game now so I can just sort of play through it all constantly on Steam. I love it. <laughs> so, guy's just been hit silly and he's just mocking the ever-loving shit of the main character. I like it. Fucking hell. Oh, I hope the spear means that it can cover two tiles. I'll be severely disappointed if it can. Move to a tile instantly, draw a card. Are you going to throw fireballs? <laughs> I like the way they run as well. <laughs> Why do they keep... These ones, I, f I swear they focus on this guy. Yeah, just so I can get some AoE. I think I need to kill this guy first. Oh, they need to make it so that you, when you expend all your AP, it moves swiftly onto the next character. That's an improvement they need to make instead of making me press wait every time. Yep, and spear person. Okay, I don't know if that does cover two. Tiles. Stun an enemy for one turn, deal one damage. But he's on two da Why does he have to be at two health? Um. You can fuck off for a bit. Oh, right, so. You're running away. I like that. Nice quick movements. No, I def. The combat feels good. It's got a nice tempo to it. Every time I want to use the wall. Right. Strength up. Strength up. Yep. 24 damage. Alright, it plays success. Victory music before the animations even finish. Good. No, I like this game. It, it works really well. It's got fun combat. It's got very nice writing of the characters. It's got a little bit of bugs, which hopefully they figure out. But I mean, this is just a demo, and it's no, not really, not really bad for one. Now I see why you had a mask on. You're not very good looking.
Oh, that's a bit... iffy. Okay, and this is a boss, I assume, to kind of round off the... I like this. It's got a nice little boss rush at the end. Some units occupy more than one tile. Area of effect attacks deal way more damage. Way more damage was something I added to that. I can move. I stand ready. Right, we're gonna get absolutely mullered, aren't we? Right. A second attack shouldn't break the stun, should it? No. Good. I'm gonna move you around behind her. Oh, I should have used the rush move thing for that. Right. That gives you one enemy you can attack. <coughs> nice. Oh, he's going to try and go around, is he? Oh my, he's got quite a lot of range. Fuck you. Fucking hell. I like this. You need to heal her. Deal 14 damage. Deal 20 piercing damage. Yes, sir. Oh, fuck, I don't have that much. You're gonna get killed, even though I like you as a character. Please attack. Ah, fucking hell, 24 damage, 12. Okay, you are not a fun character to fight. Twenty-eight damage. Wait. Fight isn't over yet. You are going to get a lot of you, sir. Yeah, I'm gonna try and stun you. I think that's going to use up her entire turn. Alright, no it doesn't. <coughs> oh, it's got four health. Okay, so... No, I'm going to finish this quite handily. I was quite afraid that we're going to end up with a dead character there. Wait, let's have him... That's a good way to end it. Yep. And we kill the Ray. And everybody levels up. She levels up twice. Okay, this is kind of cool. I wonder if there's a party screen we unlock later on in the proper game. Here I've got the blood samples of both men. There's a non-human who goes by the name of Seno. He lives on the top of Sred... Sredon Mountains? Bring him these vials and tell him that you need to see through their eyes. Yeah, it's a bit ominous, that. Are we going into a mountain stage, fighting, like, trolls? Let me fight a troll. I want to fight a troll. So bad. Oh god, there's even more. This is quite generous for a demo, to be honest. Well. 
Oh, you're very cocky, aren't you? Quite like this. Well, you're not the best. <laughs> this is the end of the story for the demo. However, you can still take side quests, manage your characters, and build de a deck of cards. Oh, wow. They have put quite a lot of effort into this. I mean, the map looks a bit... Like, you get... A it could be refined a little bit in terms of how it looks. But it's kind of got a nice little charm to it. It just needs to look a little less pixely and kind of rough and ragged, maybe. But aside from that, I know, I like it. I like it a lot. These kind of jump out a little bit ugly off the main map. No, it's rough around the edges, but I really like the way it looks. Status active, strength. Strength, intelligence, vitality. Wonder what intelligence affects. Now we're going to make you stronger. Okay. I like this. This is looking very good. Intelligence is for magic, then, clearly. You really need health. And what's your build, mostly? No, this is... Quests. Guild quests, eliminate outlaws, the bloodsuckers problems, story quests are out. No, this is good. The UI could do a bit of, you know, sharpening, which I think is the whole point of this Kickstarter it exists. It's got a nice yeah, the menu could do with looking a bit nicer, I don't know. It's all just stuff that kind of needs a little bit of improving. The bloodsucker problem, eliminate outlaws. But it just makes it look like a tile going across it. That should be below the ship, though, to make it look nicer. I mean, the Kickstarter is for the PC thing, but I'm sure this is going to be an amazing game when it comes gets ported to the Switch. Just because these games are so much... It just works so well portably. It's kind of part of the reason why I loved Only Mission Tactics so much. I mean, if it does come to the Switch, and I do get a Switch, which I dearly want to get, it's going to be one of the games I'm just going to have to rebuy. If it's as good as I think it's going to be from this demo. Oh god, I cannot wait. Yes, we're one slash would work perfectly. Why are there vampires? I want some exposition. At once. At once. Yes! Oh, uh, it really the only thing that's really annoying me about is that it doesn't just automatically end your turn when you run out of moves. Keeps getting me. You get patched up. And go attack the guy at the back. It does... I don't know, is it zooming in by accident? Is there something... There might be something I'm missing. That's not worth doing until I can get an energy surge on it. Just gonna stab him. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Double slash. Increase armor by one. Yeah, you do need to be more careful. I'm leaving mana that I'm not actually using. Move, deal 22 damage. 
22 damage. Because we tried to... <laughs> it's the way they just flop over, it's amazing. <laughs> Love it. Oh, oh, it's got so much charm, and I like the music. The music is actually there. It's kind of... Doesn't kind of, um... Doesn't push its way to the front, it just kind of really goes along with it very well. You don't really notice how good it is. Ah, you've always got an attack. I don't know why she's got a glowy sword. I hope that gets revealed in the story. Feel the pull. Of course you wouldn't die. That would be too simple. Of course. It's the enemy turn. Oh, they're vampires. Why did I not expect them to have vampirism of some sort? armor. The, the way they flop over. Stupid. I don't... <laughs> Wait, if he's taunted, so what if I put a what? I've just realized I've left us no way to get through it. I'm a fucking idiot. Oh, it doesn't matter. She can kill it. I like her as a damage dealer. She works really well as a damage dealer. Tank, healer, damage dealer. No, it makes sense. Makes sense. Flows really well. One of more side quests will appear. Thank you for playing this demo. Apparently not. Thank you for playing this demo. We hope you enjoyed the game. Support us on Kickstarter for some cool rewards. Let's make grand kills together. No, definitely going to do that. Just, please, please don't do what they did here. Please? Yeah. Okay, so I am recording this after the fact. Um, having played the demo and greatly enjoyed it, I finished editing most of the video at this point. And I thought at the end I should outline some of the things I'd like to see improved from the demo because there are definitely flaws in this game or things that could be improved upon. Even though I think it is an excellent, fun game from what I played the demo and I really can't wait to play a full release of it. Um, I think probably the biggest one that I complained about when I was doing, when I was actually playing through it was the fact that it doesn't just cycle through to the next um, the next character when you run out of action points that, or have no, you know, more available moves for that character to play which would help the flow of combat more than having to constantly go back down to the wait button. It's a small niggle but something that would greatly improve the kind of feel of the game. A Another thing I kept hitting was that occasionally trying to click the card, it just wouldn't go and I'd accidentally move somewhere instead, so that was a bit of an issue. I think that might be a bug or something, or maybe I'm just not pressing the mouse hard enough. I don't know. It's quite possible it's my own mistake. Um, they need to make some more interesting environments for fighting, stuff that you can use, the elevation which it has, and obstacles and that to kind of control the battlefield more, because at the moment it feels for all the different decorations, and occasionally an elevation, but only one elevation, that it's 
there's not much opportunity to actually play around with the battlefield. It feels like you just all the enemies go and kind of mob up in the same place, or you all mob up in the same place. It doesn't feel like there's much finesse, although I'm sure later levels will improve that. Um, I think... I don't know. I'm sure there's quite a lot of things later game that I'll look forward to seeing. Stuff that I mentioned in the video, um, something like a challenge dungeon, endless dungeon mode thing for the end, where you can take your team through to get increasingly better cards. After you finish the game, that would be cool. That would definitely give this um, some extra lasting appeal. Um, it's not that much that comes to mind. It's it just kind of needs controller support, needs to get a few more interesting environments, which hopefully the later game bits happen. The demo was just showing early game ones, where it didn't want to overwhelm you with tactical abilities, tactical opportunities, and it needs to. Oh yes, a red ring around the bigger enemies, like something on the periphery of it, so that you know. The edge of all the tiles it has, it occupies, has a red ring around it, so you're more able to see what tiles it's occupying, and so you can tack it accordingly. That would be a nice little improvement. But beyond that, I don't think there's really much I can complain about. I'm sure there's a greater variety of cards later on to kind of make it so you can mix up your playstyle. Don't know if they're going to have equipment, which would be kind of cool to give you some ability to customize your approach with the characters. I look forward to seeing what happens to it. And I may well try and cover the beta? Beta? They, both those words sound wrong. One of those, after I've kickstarted it, and hopefully the kickstarter is successful because it really, really deserves to deserves to be in my mind because it's just such a nice little game and I'm so upset by the fact that it's only a quarter of the way to its goal and I'd be severely upset if it doesn't succeed and that's about all I've got to say on the subject I hope you enjoyed it I hope you back it if only because I really want to see it come out as soon as possible and thank you for watching, if you did indeed watch to the end, because I envy your patience, honestly. Putting up with watching a video by a person who can barely speak. So thank you for watching, and goodbye.